Hello, children. Despite me being in a pretty urban environment right now, there's actually a bunch of dragonflies flying around, a bunch of common ones that I see a lot, but still a lot, and they don't need to be rare for this video. Today we're going to be comparing as many dragonfly catching strategies as possible, which the top three I know are the ones that are going to go against each other today. The three strategies are the clapping strategy, the abdomen grabbing strategy, and the net strategy. So let's see which one's the most efficient in catching dragonflies. Alright, so our first strategy that I'm going to try out is one that I'll just call it the clap. Basically what I've heard is that you have to approach the dragonfly as slowly as possible, lift your hands up, cup your hands, and clap it. And it worked. Works on a little tiny blue dasher right here. This right here is a male blue dasher. Very common species. As you can see, the clapping worked. You have to approach it as slowly as possible and once you get there, make sure that the hands are like this so it doesn't hurt the dragonfly at all and clap on it as fast as possible. You'll feel it vibrate in there. You might feel it bite you. Blue dashers don't really bite but if it's a bigger species it will bite so with barehanded dragonfly catching be very careful catching large skimmers and large darners those can pack a pretty painful bite but I'm just gonna let this little blue dasher go and we'll keep going well the clapping was surprising I wasn't expecting it to work that fast but now let's move on to two ways that I'm actually used to using to catch odinates, which are the abdomen grab and the net. So first we're going to try the abdomen grab, barehanded abdomen grab. Now I know those work super well on damselflies. I also know that the abdomen grab strategy works with larger species as well as more uh, species that spend more time in the air, such as gliders and darners. But will it work with just your average skimmer, like this blue dasher right here? Let's see. So the reason why the abdomen grab works so well with species that spend most of their time flying around the air, such as gliders, like wandering gliders, garnet gliders, as well as big darners, like regal darners, is because since they spend most of their time flying in the air, I've actually seen garnet gliders spend over an hour at a time, just flying in circles through the air. They lose a lot of energy doing that, so they perch more to take a break than to look for food, like other dragonflies do. So they're actually regenerating energy by perching, and you could sneak up to them, and since they're a little low on energy, their reaction time won't be as much as, say, a blue dasher, or a band with dragonlet, or some other flighty small aerodynamic skimmer. So you could sneak up to it, grab it right by the abdomen. You gotta be real careful doing that though because number one, dragonflies are pretty fragile. And number two, because dragonflies that are large in size like gliders and darners will pack a pretty nasty bite. So this next strategy I'm gonna talk about is called using a net. And it's just as simple as that. You take a net and you use it. It's a bit more complicated than that actually. You gotta wait for a dragonfly to be resting on a perch. Like this little female blue dasher is right up there. Where it's sitting still and it's on a thin enough perch where when you swipe the net, it won't hurt the dragonfly at all by causing friction with the perch that it's sitting on. Keeping my eye on her to make sure that she doesn't move away. I'm gonna try and show you, you have to be super fast just like that. And as you can see, I got her. Right in. Of course she escaped, but you know what I mean. I was finally able to get back the little female blue dasher using the net. Which is cool. 
Now what we have right here is actually quite a common species of dragonfly here. This is a pintailed pontoc. This is actually a species that has eluded me as I've tried to catch it. I have never had success trying to catch this species. So the netting strategy is supposed to be the best strategy for catching fast aerodynamic species. So let's see if it works on this one. And indeed, the netting strategy works. A species that I have never caught before, that is known for being quite quick and elusive. I can still catch using the net strategy. Now this is proof that the net strategy is quite possibly the best for catching these small aerodynamic dragonflies. And I've also used the netting strategy on slower dragonflies that are just kind of perching there. So if the net works on both fast aerial predators as well as more sedentary species, then I guess that means the net is the best strategy. Alright, I'm going to let this little pintailed pond hawk go. Species I've never been able to catch barehanded before, and catching it with the net made it look like I'm like the worst barehanded dragonfly catcher ever. It was that easy. You might have seen that epic jump. You probably didn't see the catch, but you did see the jump. That was for this little bandwing dragonlet right here. So this right here is an immature male band-winged dragonlet named for those bands on the wings that males and some females have. Not all females. But this is another small, fast, aerodynamic species right here that I was able to use the net and catch quite swiftly, although that, that, uh, that fall, you know, I will have to accept the flop there, but, you know, it was worth it, I guess. Oh.